So the next one, which we are going to discuss about the S Trust SSO2 transaction code here. S Trust, T R U S T, S Trust SSO2 transaction code here. So what is this transaction code here? This is a certificate based transaction codes here. System specific certificates available in the S Trust SSO2 here. So if you see the system, system PSC. So there is a certificates. Each system, there is a certificate here to trust the call. So to trust this system into the other system certificate, we have the certificates here. We have the certificate based calls are available here. So we have to go to the S trust transaction code. Then here we need to, we need to revise the, we need to check the, the certificates here whether we have to create the certificates here. So we have to get it renewal from the, our certified CA authorities, then we have to import the certificates here. So normally system certificate, we won't touch by the guys, it's a system internal certificates. So, so suppose example, what I can say here, so systems are there here, right? So this is the one system, this is the one system here. So if you want to configure SSO between the systems, so then this system certificate we have to import to the here and this system certificate we have to import to the here exchange. Then both the systems should trust the call here. Whatever the certificates you import here, those system certificates should be the, so trusted here. It will be trusted here. Suppose I want pure HTTP communication. So means nowadays you see all the communications are the HTTPS only, HTTPS only. So means your system URLs and everything should be the HTTPS. Then you have to go to the SSL server standard. So there you, are, you have to configure your systems here. You have to configure your system as a S trust SSO2. What you need to do? You have to open the means SSL communication purpose. SSL means secure socket layer, which means pure security protocols here. Why? Because nowadays everybody using the browser URLs here. If you, if the browser based URL, everybody will use in the browser URL. So suppose google.com, facebook.com, Amazon, there's all of the HTTPS sites, not the HTTP site. If it is the HTTP site that will happen, so your connection will be hung status here. Your connection will be hung. So connection will be hacked. It's not the secure one. I mean to say, it's not the secure connection. It's not the secure connection here. If its connection is hung, it's not the secure connection here. So that is the reason you will not get the secure connection here. So that way, each and every time there is a secure connection here, secure connection. It is certified by the authority. Then some of the third party providers, they will trust your certificate. They will trust your certificate here, right? So in that case, what you have to do in case of your system certificate is not trusted one, then select the certificate, go to the, create the, sorry. So create the certificate request. So, or if you want to change this one, if you want to change, if you want to change this one, some companies, they will go for the, the standard naming convention here. So standard naming convention here. So then right click on the here, right click on the here, then so replace, sorry, change. Let me go back, come back here. So SSL server standard here, all right? So here, what we can do, go to the change mode, then some people, they will keep the same thing. Some people, so they will, they will delete it and they will create it here with the proper naming convention here, which means mycompany.com or mycompanydomain.com. Something like that, their company name, they will configure it, all those things, CN is equal to OU. So all those things, they will configure it here. So then, so, so it will generate the one certificate here. You can see that it will generate the certificate here. So just click on the create the certificate, then just to copy this code or just to download this code, log, save as a local file, send this to the, your certificate authority. Certificate authority means we have the, multiple certificate authorities here. So GoDaddy, DZSAT. So GoDaddy, DZSAT. They are the 
number of certificate authorities are there. So if you send to them, they will take some amount, then they will they will provide the signed certificate response they will send to you. Then you have to import the, that response. Once you once you got the response certificate, just click on the go ahead and import the certificate response from the the certificate response file from the your your down your uh, local file. You can import it here, right? So that is the signed certificate here, right? So only this certificate we have to renewal it here every one year, one year once, yearly once, or every yearly once we need to renewal this certificate here. Yearly once we need to renewal the certificate in the stress test photo. Why? Because pure communication purpose, purely so communication purpose we have to use it here. Suppose if you see, let me open the some other site here, some other sites here. Okay. So let me open any other site here, here. HTTPS colon slash slash. Uh, suppose let's take the BTP. Okay, BTP site. So this is certified. Why? Because here HTTPS. The certificate which is HTTPS, that is should be the trusted one here. Right. So then the certificate which is here, that is the connection is secure means no one will hack your connection here. Just click on OK button. Then certificate is valid. So then you can check what to up to what time it is valid. So maybe they have in the December 2nd, 2023, they have issued then in the March 1st, 2024, that is going to be expired. March 1, 1st March, that is going to expire. After that, so you cannot open this connection in the properly here. We may face the issue. In below, in between time, so these people who are there in the common name, normally they put like common name is called, the servers, they will put the common name is called, the cn is equal to 10 downloader.com, organization, nothing, nothing they have mentioned. Normally what we put here, cn is equal to mycompanydomain.com, o is equal to this one, that one we put it to here. So that this is the certificate is like here. If they are using the SAP, then that certificate will come to the here. Every yearly once we need to renewal the certificate here. Same, generate the certificate, then they, uh, import the, the certificate response to the here. Right? So anonymous PSCs means some third party, third party PSCs, some anonymous PSCs and anonymous client PSCs, we will import to the here. We will import to the here. Some third party system certificates and all those things we will import to the in the anonymous and standard certificates, we will import it. So remaining all of the web services, then SAML2 related certificates here. This is the SNC related certificates. So these are the main certificate is the SSL server standard and system PSC certificates here. So if you are adding, suppose if you are adding one system certificate to the here, then suppose you added the ECP certificate here. Then we need to add to the certificate list here. Then add to the ACL list also. We have to do that one. We have to go for the add to ACL list. ACL list means you are trusting this system. So in ECD, in ECD, in, EC, in, in ECD, you are adding means you are trusting this system certificate. This is the EC, this is the ECD certificate here, right? So then ECP certificate you are trusted means if any call, any connection is coming to the ECP that will be trusted and why because we have added into the ACL list, ACL list here, ACL list we have to add it here, triple zero client ACL list we have to add it the two clients here, then so here PSC then distribute all, why because every connection will come to the HTTP or HTTPS connection via SMICM, it will come and it will hit the your server. So your server here, normally in our server also, we will open the, these connections, right? Maybe there is a URL here, 39 dot. We have WebGI URL. Let me open WebGI URL here. So see here, when I'm opening from uh, here, it is a non-secure connection, non-secure connection here, non-secure connection here. Let me open here. It's a non-secure connection. Non-secure means, so it's the connection is not secured. Anyone can hack your data. But if I go with the, so double four three HTTP port number, double four three double zero, then HTTPS colon slash slash, then you can see, so it is a secure one. It is a secure one here. So, but it is not secured from our case also. Why? Because 
certificate is not valid our sap windows 1 web trust certificate is not valid here so because i have not trusted the system certificate here so that is the reason it is giving the error this is the organization definitely it should be trusted by the signing authority so anywhere you can open the browser url then you can access it here but if it is not secure what will happen here the hackers may hack your system the connection is not trusted here so non non trusted connection sometimes system may block non trusted connections sometimes system may block it here so that is the purpose that is the reason so we have this uh, we have to renew all the certificates into the yes trust sso2 transaction code here ss sso2 transaction code we have to renew all the certificates here just to go to the SSL. This one, we won't touch it. We won't renew this one. Why? Because this one, we will keep it the same. Only this one, SSL server standard, SSL communication purpose, we will create the certificate of response, send this code to the USCA authority. Then say, they will send the response. Then you can import the response certificate to the here. That will be trusted. Then restart the SMICM. That will be fine here. All right? So that is the one. And that is the yes trust sso2 transaction purpose here okay uh, sir can you tell us the difference between client and server standard certificate of ssl <clears throat> client this is the server okay within the server this server related client means this client connections means the client means third party third party connections third party non sap non abap so java so it's kind of third party outside of the system client connections that is called the client so client means who will make the connections to the your server suppose like this is the your sap server right so then here you have the one server you have the one server you have the third party servers are there so this server is making the connection why because this server normally normally in the real time multiple third party systems will connect to the your system to feed the data to fetch the data in this case this come this connection is coming to the your system means this should be trusted, right? So means this connection, this call should be trusted. We are not sure whether the hacker connection or not. Then in this case, this bank inside connection or this connection, we will import into the here in our system side, we will import to the here. Then when connection is coming, our system will trust, then it will fetch the data, then it will give the response back to the here. Even though if we are not maintaining this connection in our side, so then this connection will not be connected to the so our SAP system. So anonymous systems standard. Standard means so both are related same, but standard means so non SAP systems. Sorry, SAP only, but non above system something like that here. It's a anonymous means some other anonymous related connections and everything we will import to the here. We will import to the here here. So client standard. So anonymous here. Both are the these are the client. These are the clients here these are the clients here these are the clients which are making the ssl connection https connection to the server http connection to the server these are the clients here And also, we are having a multi-domain certificates also, right? Karhana uh, related. Multi-domain certificates means? That is also a type of certificate, right? Multiple domain names in the certificate, right? You mentioned. No, sir. Multi-domain certificate. Actually, I'm part of SSO. I'm, I'll sign the certificate and provide it to the customer. But I don't know what is exactly they are doing with the certificate. We are yeah. signing single standard, client standard, audience SC, multi-domain, and third-party certificates. So but I just to know the okay. difference. But multi-domain means here we will only install the CN is equal to the customer company name we will maintain here. But multiple the multiple company name CN means company name, common name. Multiple multi-domain business, it's a HANA based certificate, sir. That one I am not sure. Okay. That one I'm not sure. What is that? So that one SAP level. So that time ANA level, that time I will explain it. But uh, but I am not sure what is this multi-domain certificate here. But let's see in the doing the HANA topic time. 
So here we don't have any multi-domain certificate here. But let me search what is that multi-domain certificate here. Let me search 